praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Mark the Evangelist. He was a Jew converted by the apostles after the resurrection of Christ and became a disciple of Saint Peter here in today's first reading from the first letter of Saint Peter. We see him name this Mark, the chosen one at Babylon sends you greeting as does Mark, my son. And so Saint Peter considered Saint Mark his spiritual son and all of the Romans knew that as well when Saint Mark was there at Rome with Saint Peter and they wanted Saint Mark to put into writing everything that they were being taught orally by Saint Peter. And so that's just what this evangelist did and it's also said that Saint Peter uh, may have reviewed what Saint Mark wrote and approved his gospel. And that was done all before the year 49 AD, because in the year 49, Saint Peter would then send Saint Mark into Egypt to be the first bishop of Alexandria. And so Saint Mark heads to Alexandria, a place famous for its superstition, right? And he gets there and he starts preaching the gospel and working many, many miracles. And this is what we read in today's gospel, and this is St. Mark's gospel. It says, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. <clears throat> they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. And that's exactly what our Lord did with St. Mark while he was in Egypt. He confirmed the word that he was preaching by all of the signs, the miracles that he was working. And for this reason, many, many people converted to the faith. But it also was to bring about St. Mark's martyrdom in the year 68 AD when the heathens, the infidels, they thought that St. Mark's miracles were a result of sorcery. And so for that reason, they put him to death, a martyr for the faith. And then it didn't take long that we continue to see the fruits of St. Mark's preaching and of his miracles and especially of his martyrdom um, to keep the faith and to make it grow there in Egypt, right? We've been listening, the friars recently have been listening to Eusebius' church history, and he talks about the incredible martyrs, the Egyptian martyrs, right? They can thank St. Mark for their fortitude, for their constancy in the faith, for the witness that they gave by giving their lives in, uh, through terrible tortures. And then we also have the Desert Fathers, Right, the ascetical life begun in Egypt with St. Paul the Hermit and St. Anthony the Great and the like, all fruits of the preaching, the life, and the martyrdom of St. Mark. And we too ourselves ought to give thank to St. Mark, thanks to St. Mark, because we receive the truth of the gospel from his hand. And so he has an effect as well on our own faith. And so we ask today the intercession of St. Mark to strengthen our faith and to bring about many, many conversions to the faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Brutum ventris tu.